Hilmi Panagoro, an alumnus of the Bandung Institute of Technology, achieved his MBA degree in 1984 from the Thunderbird School of Business at the University of Arizona, an MSc degree in Geology in 1989 from the Colorado School of Mines. Hilmi, who was a top Indonesian geologist in Vico, played an enormous role in transforming Medco Energy from the first Indonesian drilling contractor into an integrated energy company with business involvement in oil and gas exploration and production, drilling services, methanol production, and power generation when he recommended Medco Energy in 1992 to acquire the Tesoro oil field in East Kalimantan. His recommendation was absolutely excellent since he realized that by taking over the field, Medco Energy could create a gas market to monetize the untapped gas reserves, as proved later on by the generation of the Tanjung Batu power plant, the first gas-fired power plant in East Kalimantan, and the Medco methanol plant in Bunyu Island. Hilmi's remarkable entrepreneurship was apparent when the distressing financial crisis in 1997 struck Indonesia along with other Asian countries and forced many corporations to cease their operations. It was he who was, on behalf of the Panigoro family, able to manage a series of debt restructuring negotiations and organizational restructuring. Hilmi believed that this restructuring decision would save the company's future as he knew that the fundamentals of the oil and gas business were actually strong. His instrumental role in this restructuring process enabled Medco Energy not only to survive from the crisis, but also to become financially stronger than ever before. Moreover, demonstrating his keen sense of business, Hilmi dared to come out of the crisis and to save the company from bankruptcy by pursuing a debt-to-equity swap with Credit Suisse First Boston, CSFB, a foreign investment banker, to acquire more than 90% ownership of the Panagoro shares in the company. Having CSFB to take over the majority of Medco Energy was a really brave and brilliant move of Hilmi Panagoro, especially to restructure the company. Another of Hilmi's intelligent moves was his policy to accept foreign strategic investors having similar business, allowing PTTEP, a subsidiary of PTT Thailand, to have 60% of CSFB shares in New Links Limited in 2001. Hilmi let Medco Energy acquire international experience and a healthy balance sheet to reach its corporate growth. Incredibly, Hilmi was confident to take over Novus Petroleum, an Australian-listed company possessing assets in Australia, the Philippines, Pakistan, the Middle East, Indonesia, and the USA. This 2004 surprising acquisition sent shivering tremors to the Australian Stock Exchange and its investors and generated a market adjustment. His astute decision raised significant gain for Medco Energy when he decided to keep the Indonesian and U.S. assets and sell the rest at a premium to other companies. Hilmi proved himself as a distinguished entrepreneur when in the middle of 2005 he completed the buyback transaction from CSFB and PTTEP and made the Panagoro manage to have full ownership of Medco Energy. Hilmi's amazing business policy still goes on. He willingly decided to increase public shares liquidity by secondary listing in Luxembourg and made Medco Energy receive additional 119 new investors, 25% of whom are first-time investors from Indonesia, the U.S., Europe, and Asia. The facts resulted from Hilmi's strategic and bold decisions and policies clearly show that Hilmi is a truly outstanding entrepreneur who dares to succeed.